hey guys, just wanted to uh, explain a couple things when you're searching for your image uh, when it comes to your uh, step two in your um, in your civil rights uh, paper. So anyway, what I've done is I've searched for the topic of our example person, uh, Martin Luther King Jr. And as you can see here, I typed it in, went to, to uh, Google Images here. And over here under the search bar and down from images is something called search tools. If you click on that, there's a bunch of different options. You can look for a, a I'm looking for a medium to large picture. Um, you know, you can do the different color types. There's all sorts of different options, black and white. You can do just, uh, I'm looking for any type of picture. Uh, I'm not really worried about that. But what I am worried about are the usage rights because if you use an image that belongs to someone or some other company, uh, it's illegal. And so we want to make sure that we can use it as much as we can. And I know that I'm going to be modifying what this uh, is going to look like. So I'm going to look for something uh, that's labeled for reuse with modification. And you can use just with reuse too most of the time. But I'm looking for something that is uh, not owned by another entity. So I can I can go here and look. Um, I can go to creativecommons.org and look. There's a few different places. But so I'm just going to search and look for a picture that I like. And I'm going to pick this one just for the uh, space that it uses. I kind of like that. So as you're looking for these pictures, make sure that you look for something that is uh, labeled for non-commercial reuse with modification if you're going to go through Google. If not, go to Creative Commons or any picture from Wikimedia or Wikipedia. Um, th that will work as well because those are all used, um, they're common use, so you can use them without permission. Uh, we don't want to plagiarize and steal somebody else's work and call it our own. So let's just make sure that we do that correctly. So we have our image and we are in Word on this uh, document. I like to use Word more than I do Google Docs on this because it is a little bit more friendly when it comes to adding um, adding uh, pictures and, and, and manipulating that. So I always like to put my margins on narrow. If you want to go to, you start off at home, go to page layout. Go to margins and then narrow. That way I've got more space to work with. I'm going to paste my picture here. And it is a, an oddly long picture. So something you might want to think about is matching it with uh, matching the orientation of the page with your picture. So if you've got a more portrait picture, um, which is the, the more up and down uh, here, um, make your picture that way. But if you got a landscape, you might want to try to uh, fill your paper. I just like the way it looks uh, better. This next part is me editing the quote on top of the picture. I used word art. I believe it's the easiest thing in, to use and you can uh, modify it a lot more than you can a text box. If you are going to have to write a little bio, I would use the text box, but if you're going to do a quote, I would use word art. And try to pick a quote that isn't so uh, long that it won't fit or it'll be awkward. And then try to play around and make it fit, make it look interesting. Uh, don't just throw it up there. Uh, and that's what I try to do in this video.